Okay. Every time it's going to do that, it's me hitting the record. So, we have set up our home. We have Freya. I've already forgot her name. There's a lot of shit in this game to deal with, and we're going to get into it right now. Needs are busted as fuck in this game. You're going to have your needs drop constantly. Also, yeah, I bought a thing. She likes swords. She's a kinky gal. Um, and this room is empty because we're going to buy shit later for it. So... Make sure, I said this in the last episode, we got a stray thing. This is very useful to keep away all sorts of shit. This is outside to make sure we don't get burgled, because we will, trust me. It's it's guaranteed in this game. And, uh, yeah, this is our starter home. So, we don't know anybody in this game. There's no memory system. There's also interest. I think this is added with Make and Magic. No, 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 no. This was... Pets. There we go, that's right. Um, Unleashed, sorry, that's what it was called originally. You can talk to other sims about these things, and your sim will have uh, more interest in them. I think they're based on just random. You can also buy magazines to get your interests up. Um, that's a little thing you can do. Here's our personality. You can also see, if you're into these sorts of things, all the uh, bits and bobs in there. Um, but yeah, you can get to see all the things your sim will do. So, neat sims will actually clean up their stuff on their own. That's very important in this game. Outgoing. Not really a huge one. You'll be more social. You won't get socially exhausted as quickly. Um, also, if your sim has a, I think, outgoing of seven or more, they actually, this one does. Um, they'll actually get naked in a hot tub. That's a little bonus perk, I guess. Active, not a huge deal. Playful, this is kind of about social. And then nice, same thing. It's a little bit weird. Uh, inventory, this is pretty important. Later on, we will get some items and we can sell them. This is the house uh, tab. Originally, when the game was called Dollhouse, this was actually what you'd use to uh, determine the... I think they were vendors or something would come by and judge the house. You can see there's a lot of stuff in here that you can look up. Pretty cool shit. We are unemployed. We are a scrub. Now, trust me, work is brutal in this game. This is why I said this game gets fucking bleak. Um, Let's see what else. We can toggle the view modes from here if you really want to. I usually have it on cutaway. This is my preferred uh, method in this game. And of course, we can hit one, two, three, and then, you know, comma, or sorry, not comma, but tilde to actually pause the game. Trust me, this is going to be the way I play the game mostly. Um, and we also have our help system in here. If you really get lost, I know what I'm doing. I'm a pro. Um, and also you can see here, this is our... Three-day budget, it tracks. Um, this will show all the bits and bobs you get. So, bills are every three days. Um, food and all that gets taken out immediately. We don't have very much money, so we got to be really close. And, of course, cash flow. This is pretty important, too. If your sim has positive cash flow, you're doing something right. Um, and, of course, we can have our days in move. So, this is pretty important as well if you want to do some challenges or stuff like that. And, of course... I think we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and first things first. No, no, no. Let's not find a job just yet. Uh, that's a little bit dumb. Study cooking. And we're going to hit three to speed up time. I know you're probably like, oh, it's the magic man. Oh, quick. Get that shit. Open that shit up. So this is actually a very cool way of making some quick money. Yeah. Awesome. So we can go ahead and sell this bullshit. Perfect. So that's a good way to get a little bit of start. Oh shit, I forgot a couple of them. There we go. So that's a good way to get some uh, starter money in this game if you have Making Magic installed. It's probably a little cheesy, but trust me, we're going to need that money for a while. Mystery man, sorry. I also love the little, like, mm, face on him too. It's really cute. So, let's get rid of this. I think we can cancel the subscription eventually, but I don't remember. Let's go ahead and throw that away, though, because otherwise our sim will just go, ugh, every two seconds and then just bitch about it. So we're already having to piss, so let's go ahead and do that, and I'll talk about what we do in that time. So our sims are already going to flush. That's great. Let's go ahead and start cleaning, because you hear that? You hear that sound? It's Nancy. Fucking, that sound is ingrained in my brain forever. So, let's go ahead and study cooking, and there's Mortimer Goth, there's Bella. Uh, I'm tempted to talk to them right now to get them at least started, but 
Not really worried about it. Also, Sims can't just move out like they can in the other games. That's just not gonna happen. So, your Sims are stuck to the lot they're in. I'm sorry. So, first things first, we're gonna take this first day, get at least two skill points in... Oop, there we go. It's two skill points in cooking. That's a pretty much must. And let's practice speech a bit while we're at it, too. So... You're probably just like, what are you doing? You're like fucking speedrunning The Sims. Trust me, man, this is essential in this game. If you don't do it, it's just not going to end well. So let's go ahead and turn on the TV. It's a metaphor, I swear. Blech! Okay, so she doesn't like that. Let's switch to romance then. Yeah, she likes that. Cool. Okay, so... Your sims will have various things they actually enjoy and dislike if they watch it. So they'll go blech or hmm, like stuff like that. That determines if your sim is actually going to enjoy something. It's a little small thing, but you know, it's not a bad thing. If But they'll have more fun fulfilled if they actually like watching something they enjoy. Now let's see if I fucking light the place up. Nope. Perfect. So... For now, I think our layout is pretty shit, but oh well. Let's turn that TV off. I don't want to keep hearing it the entire time. Um, and I think let's go do the smart thing now and just hire a maid. Trust me, it's a great idea. Yes. Thank you. So that's a good thing to invest in in this game. So we can also in enjoy some cool shit like if you want to change your sims outfits we have our little sleepy pajamas on right now what i'm trying to do right now is set up a preferably decent sleeping hour your sims can actually get like into a sleep rhythm too so 5 a.m that sounds about right let's go take a shower you can queue up a lot of stuff in this game which is pretty nice so obviously the better equipment you have and all that equipment jesus christ um and we'll just turn on the TV, and then... Yeah, so you can see the problem with this game already, is it's very cyclical. Um, you need to absolutely uh, get your shit together. So let's go ahead and find a job. There's only one job in the newspaper. Oh, you bitch! Oh my god. I knew that was gonna happen. <sighs> Anyways, so if a newspaper sits out for one day, it becomes old. And it will just deteriorate your room in the area. So let's go ahead and find a job. We can get one job in the newspaper and three on the computer. Let's see what we can do. We'll start off with a basic job first. And then we'll work our way into self-sufficiency. Hell yeah, let's be a corrupt politician. Cool. So we have the day off, which is great. But um, yeah, your sim starts immediately. Um, we actually have a pretty solid job already. So it's $200 a day. Not really sure what we're going to need for that. I think careers like this need charisma and I think mechanical. Let's just start doing that while we have time. So there's the maid. She doesn't have any interactions. You can't fuck the maid, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. Um, but you can't do that. Uh, let's get one more speech. I think that might be a good idea. So if your sim has a good speech skill, they can also gain friends quicker which is very very useful so in this game it's actually very important to keep friends because believe me oh shit that's on the table so now she's not going to sit down god dicking damn it man let's brush our teeth too also if your sim can get in a rhythm like cleaning up and stuff like that they'll actually do it on their own after a while so you don't have to worry about it uh, let's go ahead and turn the tv on Watch some garbage soaps, probably, I'm guessing. Some nasties. Okay. No, you don't need to eat. Sims will just constantly eat. That's another problem they have. There's a lot of uh, free will issues in this game. <laughs> but that's a good way to exploit the AI on some of the other NPCs. This game's all about learning how to get into a pattern. It's very bleak. I wish I was kidding, man. Um, so we're going to try and get to the end of the politician career. I think that's a good idea. Um, so we have until 8 in the morning, which is not very much time. So we have to be right on the ball here. So you can see what I mean. We're probably not going to have time to make a good shower in. Bitch, and we barely did it. Awesome. So we're probably not going to get a promotion because our mood is only two bars in the green. 
We need to speak to somebody, otherwise we're gonna have a fucking complete mental breakdown, probably. Let's see what I got. I think this one's like till seven, right? Oh, we did! Start out running errands for the SimCity controller and try to work your way up to getting lunch for the mayor. Low pay, long hours, you'll need lots of charisma to advance in politics. And yeah, you start immediately in that new thing. So we get a bonus. Nice. Uh, what do we need? Well, Alright, we can actually get a another promotion if we try. So if you go into your job here, you can see these bars. They'll have a little white outline underneath them of which thing needs to go up. So... Wait till we get friends involved, oh boy. That's where it starts to get really nasty. Um, so our sim is going to have a mental breakdown, so let's go ahead and... Let's just call neighbor. We don't know anybody. That's correct. Uh, shit. Let's go ahead and get rid of these while we're thinking about it, because if we do this right, we can probably... You know, I think we might be able to get another promotion here. That would be pretty sweet. I think I'm going to try and go for that. Now, there's a little bit of an exploit in this game, but trust me, exploits are the name of the game. We're going to need to try and get our social skill up, preferably before we go to work, not exhaust our sim to death. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, hopefully I can get a promotion without having to do this. But if we leave the like lot and go to, like let's say, Old Town or Downtown or whatever, the game time actually stops and we'll be able to uh, just kind of you know, cheese the game a little bit, and we can actually work on stuff outside of it. And then come back here, it'll be like whatever time, and then we'll go back to, uh... Well, I'll get into it. Nope, we did not get a promotion. So we're gonna need to do that right about now. So let's go ahead and call it... Ta let's explore Old Town. Let's go find some random stranger to elope with. That's probably gonna be the greatest idea ever. And shit, we've already got bills. They're probably not very high. So, yep, let's go ahead and do that. And now, we can go explore Old Town. I love all this music. Um, let's just go to the park here. We're not really worried about what's going to go on here. Oh god, it's the sax man. He never, ever leaves. So, you're going to hear that in your dreams. So, I'm not really worried about all this cool shit that's... It's really well designed for The Sims 1. I actually really love the aesthetic of this game. Let's get an espresso, actually. This is a really bad energy hit. I might have to pee doing it, too. Also, I love this guy. This guy's so creepy. He's traveling Greg, man! And fucking WC Friendly is in my fucking way, so I guess we're not getting an espresso. That's a little bit depressing. It's Bella! For reals this time. Let's, let's go ahead and harass her in public in front of her child as it climbs around this really cool thing. What is your- what? Uh, greet her, shake her hands. There we go. I love this game. Okay. I will greet you too. Hi, friend. I'm gonna brag at you. That never works. Um, let's just talk about interests. Okay, so we do get along with Mortimer. That's pretty cool, I guess. Now you need to make damn sure you get the most out of your interactions with people in this game. Oh, he's being a dick to his kid. That's not cool. Yeah, fuck that kid. Right in front of her. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, actually, no, take that back. That's terrible. Um, Yeah, you can already see my stats are already just in the red. Who is Gina? Who is this Gina? Ugh! That face. Gross. She must be a townie, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Is she a townie? I think she is. No, she's a NPC. Townies have the distinctive last name of Townie. I'll admire you, because why not? So there is a unfortunate rhythm to doing this. If you do this, talk two times, and then something else, it's actually extremely useful. Your sim will not, like, piss them off. As long as you don't do the same action, like, three times, your sims are generally pretty safe. What's up, gangsta? Okay. Also, we'll talk about townies and shit later because it's actually very useful if you want to get married and finish a career, um, which is probably what we're going to do here. Um, they, well, we'll get into it. If you marry one, trust me, you're in the money. That's all I can say. I am not a normal person. I am so sorry. So let's go ahead and go back home. We might be able to get a promotion out of this. I don't need the help system. I invented the help system for this game, goddammit. 
Uh, we're not gonna pass out, so that's good. Usually if your sim's gonna pass out, that's not a good time to cook, because usually... Well, it doesn't end well. That's all I can usually say. Uh, and we're not having fun. Well, that's just bullshit. Watch TV until you're about to black out, just like I do in real life. Um, I love that sound. This, this fucking sound that this thing puts off is some of the best shit ever. <laughs> it's like, you also can get a satellite dish and get some different channels as well if you want to do that. Oh, this is gonna fuck this whole day up. Uh, let's try and get, get that shit into you. Um, and then we'll watch some TV. I'll get up a little bit earlier just to watch TV so I can have a good day. This is not like in the, uh, The Sims 3 and shit where you can actually, you know, have options at work like have lunch and enjoy the day and stuff like that. This game doesn't have that, so we have to do everything pretty much before the carpool gets here. And I think we might be solid. I think we might actually get an upgrade from this. Upgrade, Jesus. Promotion. Um, there is a problem with jobs, but we'll get into that later. Yeah! I'm a lobbyist, bitchin'. A special interest group of influential local politicians hires you. Heavy social skills and lots of friends are needed to advance in this career. You must win friends and influence people. Charisma skill is essential to progress in a political career. Bitchin'. So, let's see. Let's actually pay our bills. I don't think they're gonna be that much. Probably, I'm guessing 130. Oh, well, fuck, I was close. Um, do we need friends already? Oh, Jesus, we already need friends. It begins. Oh, oh, no. So I need to remember to water that plant, too. That's going to be a huge problem. So here's the huge, huge other problem. There's no days system. That wasn't introduced until The Sims 2. So what we can do is we can skip one day of work, and we can actually... Um, kind of cheese the system here. If you skip work a day and then go to work the next day, you'll not actually, like, cause the game to fire you. If you miss more than two days of work, though, your sim will get fired. So you have to be extremely careful when it comes to doing that. That's why they added the uh, vacation add-on. So now we need logic, which... don't we all? Um... And trust me, we'll get a actually pretty cool house later on, but this is the humble beginnings of The Sims. It's quite a quite a humbling experience of bleak reality after a while. So let's go ahead and uh, play some checkers. I think we need two, right? Yeah, we just need one. Awesome. Bitchin'. Let's just get that up until we can't get it up anymore. That's what she said. So... Cool, I think two is all we're gonna get. And we'll go to sleep. We'll go to work today. I don't see why we don't. This is gonna fuck our sim sleep schedule up so bad. Um, Since we're not going for a promotion, I don't think we need to shower. I think that's a prudent option here. I really do. So yeah, calm the fuck down. And look at that! We got a fucking minivan as our carpool now! Because this was way before sims could actually, you know, have vehicles of their own. That wasn't introduced until the second one. We'll get home and we'll take a long TV break, and uh, we'll get into this fucking jam. Let's see if we can actually... Yeah, we're 18 minutes in. We can get at least one more promotion this episode, I hope. And we'll try to establish as much as we can, and then we'll try and find her a nice life partner or something. Another sim to add to the, the fucking meat pile here. Um, I think I'm going to skip work this day. I just love how that's the mentality you slip into when you're playing this game. I'm gonna skip working because I don't- Oh shit, it's El Bandito! God damn. I can't do much about this. Let's go ahead and call animal control. This is a huge problem. Um, well, we're not working anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and call animal control. This is a huge pain in the ass. This was added in pets. Or, sorry, unleashed. Yes, get rid of it. Fuck's sake. You can try to shoo it away, but it's just not gonna happen. Um, I'll cue some stuff up and show you what he does. So if your sims are sleeping, um, he'll just fucking rattle the trash can and wake them up, and it's really fucking annoying. There we go, yeah, fuck off. I don't know when he spawns, I think he's just, uh, a random event. You see, the more I play this, the more I just feel like I'm playing RuneScape, but I don't know if that's good or bad. 
Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and we can't invite anybody over since we're gonna skip work today to work on, uh, friendship. Because that's a sentence that humans totally use. Clean that shit, damn it. Trust me, it's small, but it actually does help your room score a tiny bit. And apparently this room is ugly to the sim, I don't know why. Uh, let's just sleep a bit more. This is basically how I sleep in real life, if I'm being honest. It's quite depressing. <laughs> so... Okay, we're up at 6 in the morning. Now let's see if we can invite somebody over. Let's see if we can make a friend. Oh god, that is depressing to say. Let's uh, invite Bella over. Let's just invite her over. Sure, I'll be over in a few minutes. Now do this, seriously. Serve breakfast. Now let's go ahead and greet her. And she'll grab some food. This is essential. If your sims don't have stuff to do, they will just wander around. So she's gonna go to the bathroom and then we can go ahead and invite her to, like, sit on the TV. Let's do that, actually. You see, this game is very mechanical. It's quite uncomfortable after a while. If your sims have good interests as well, they can totally just get along doing an interaction like that for a long time. No, don't cuddle her. That'll end horribly right now. Uh, let's just let her do her thing. Uh, we should be pretty close. No! We're only at 20 friendship. Gross. That's not cool. Also, yeah, I love how she doesn't even care that we just, like, had the maid in here, whatever. That's just like real life. You just want the maid to walk in to just look at your junk in the shower, I guess. I don't want to try and make a romantic relationship with her because I feel like that's really bad. I don't want to do that. This game doesn't have as intricate, like, relationship systems as other Sims games, but it's still not a good idea. Yay! We made a friend! I feel so fulfilled with my life. Let's hug her because we're such friends. Uh, I want at least over 50. So, the bars in this game, you can see here, the top one is your current one, and then the bottom one's your lifetime one. The higher the lifetime bar, the uh, better chance that you're actually going to keep the uh, Sim in the green. So, let's give her a hug, and then I'll probably say goodbye to her. She's probably got some sort of problem. There we go. Look at that shit. We made a friend all the way up to 78. We are just making big gains here. So, I think that's going to call it for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.